Hey, what's going on guys? Free to find you back from the video and today we're doing another cannon. Look at this. Isn't that fancy? Uh, yes, it's been a while since I've uploaded, but due to all the recent events going on, I well, I, just, I have more time to upload now, so we're going to be doing that. So before we start this video, just a quick disclaimer, this cannon was not built for this reason. I just modified a past cannon. Uh, from a previous video you might recognize it i think it was like the east to west cannon that i uploaded like i don't know a while ago so i just modified a little bit so it would work in this case so it's not really the most efficient use of this concept but it explains the basic concept and how i would do it how i would set up the barrel if i were to make a full cannon on this which i probably end up will so this cannon is a 360 cannon it is also like a 2.4 second auto alternating pseudo you know all that fancy stuff all the basics that you have in your cannons nowadays but the main focus is it's a 360 cannon in this video i'll be explaining the concept behind a 360 and how it works essentially what a 360 is is it can shoot in any of the directions the northeast southwest direction so i can hit any of these walls here and i've seen I've seen cannons that do this, but I've the, the versions that I've seen have like a little 3x3 three three in it with like some other things in there. I do it completely differently. I have it so you can also adjust east to west without the patch. Uh, I haven't seen any that do float east to west. Now, I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying I have not personally seen one yet. But this is my version of it where you can also float east west and then you can also adjust every other direction so going to how it works pretty much we have the six basic setups of the barrel that we have right here essentially the tnt in this area is the power of the cannon and the sand sa sandstone block is the uh like the sand and the hammer and the one shot tnt and the one shot sand and all that stuff that is otherwise in the cannon so as we go through each of these i'm going to be showing them in the cannon as well so we're going to start off with shooting east. So the cannon is designed, I guess, to be forward. So its forward direction is east and north, and its quote-unquote backwards direction is west and south. So those two will be technically backwards, and these two will be technically forward, so that's how I'm going to refer to it. We're starting off with just solid east. What's going to happen is the power is going to end there, and everything else is going to end up there. That's... That's literally like what's gonna happen because that's all the sand and crap and that's the power right there so if we get rid of that obviously following basic like TNT rules it'll go straight up and then it'll go straight because there's no extra triangulation so then come over here press the button and you'll see that it'll shoot straight on right there and it's an alternating pseudo so it's gonna pseudo shot every other time so you saw that pretty pretty basic and like i said if you want to you can also adjust it east and west so just to do that all you gotta do is just place like a wall <laughs> pretty much like i do is just place a little wall of blocks and it'll adjust it to be over here so now it'll land over here somewhere there you go and that's the alternating pseudo right there so it's all you have to do to adjust it east or west and that's really the only reason why this is so long it does not need to be this long, uh, as long as it's, like, that long. Because you don't want to get, like, right here and do a full auto. Because this, on a single shot, you can do this, but full auto, it'll mess up the other TNT that's also right here. So you normally won't, don't want to get, like, within seven blocks of the pre-existing TNT. So moving on now, we're going to be shooting on the north wall. So in order to do this, what you have to do is you have to set up the triangulation of this. So you have your power TNT right here and your sand and all that stuff right here. So all you have to do is place a ladder there and that will make your power end up there and your sand will still end up there. And like I said, that's how it works is you just have everything being shot, like all your sand and whatnot being shot right there. So it'll always end up there. And then this is a little, not too much more complicated, but a little bit more complicated. And we'll explain that in a second, but just know for now, that this shoots up and lands right there. So now, Using basic triangulation, we can see, like I said, there's the triangle setup. So since it's shooting north, there will be a triangle adjustment you need to do. So obviously it'll go straight up first, and then it'll go to the right, and then it'll hit that block right there and end up somewhere, you know, like right here. So as you will be able to see, it is now shot over there because of the new setup. 
Now, let's say I wanted, so we, we, we covered the front walls, quote unquote front walls. Now let's say you wanted to hit the south wall or the back wall. What you would do is you now want triangulation to be like this. So you want that triangulation so you can go backwards and hit that wall. So what you have to do is you can see that your power is going to be on the left side of the barrel. Which one, which one to do is go on the opposite side of the barrel, go up the block, place a stone block, and place a ladder. What that ladder is going to do is it's going to stop the sand from hitting and going any further, and it's going to cause it to end up like that, and that's how your triangulation is going to want to be. That being said, obviously this is going to have to move a little bit, so we're going to be hitting this block now, and obviously since this direction is where all the sand is, you need to move over quite a bit, and then you can go over there. That might not be an issue when you're actually firing, because you might be all the way up there and you might not have any sand up there, but just for usage you know this is not adjusted way too high so now if we fire you'll be able to see that it'll hit over here somewhere and there it is now that covers all of the basic directions and all like the regular way so now we're going to get on to the quote unquote opposite or inverse of what we just did. So we just covered these three right here and now we're going to be getting on to these three right here. Now it's not that much different really at all to the first three. The only difference is instead of your power being right here, your power is now going to be right here on the right side of the barrel. In order to do that, all you have to do is come over here and flip this trap door to be open. What that's allowing it to do is, since your power is right here, what it's allowing it to do is your power will then, quote unquote, I guess, slide over here, and it'll be like, since it's an entity, it'll be like inside the trapdoor, not actually right there. So it's going to be setting up like a triangle pattern here, and it'll actually, since it's shooting north, it'll triangulate up and then to the right and then move over. So what that trapdoor allows it to do is triangulate, as opposed to if it's closed, it will allow a more linear shot and it won't be able to move. So what's going to follow, it's going to go up, hit that block so it can't go any higher, move all the way to the right side, and then go all the way to right here, or wherever it's landed. So now using that basic setup, we will now be shooting at the west wall, because you'll have that set up. So now if we fire, you'll be able to see, nope, oh, gotta actually do that. Now if we fire, we'll be able to see that it'll move over, and you'll see it move. There's your power, and there's your shot. Landed right over there. Same exact thing. Let's say you wanted to move over and shoot a little bit to the left of it. Just move your blocks, and you'll be able to do the same exact thing. Just like so. Now, again, using the same exact concept, let's say you wanted to shoot forward. You're still going to be shooting at the north wall. Except the only difference is now you're going to be putting a ladder there, setting up this triangulation. And instead of floating to the right, you'll now be floating to the left. So you have to do a leftwards adjustment. So instead of going that way, you're now going to have to move this way. Let's just go a little bit farther, because why not? Put that there. Get rid of those blocks. And you'll be able to see that now, since we have the different triangulation, it'll actually float to the left instead of the right. That's what I mean by inverse, because it's going the opposite direction. And there you have it, now it floats to the left. Same exact concept with going backwards. The so same thing if you want to shoot backwards, you'll do the exact opposite, and you'll have want you'll want the setup that's like this. So like I said previously, you're going to want to place a stone the opposite of where your power is. So since your power is on the right side, you want to place a stone on the left side, place a ladder there to set up this triangulation. And since, like I said, it is now, like, moved over one, come up here, move your stone over, and then place a block. We'll just go right there for now. And you'll fire it, just like so. And you'll be able to see that it will now end up on this wall. There you go. And now we have two holes in every single wall. Now, like I said, this cannon will still work at 2.4 seconds. That's not the issue here. Uh, I will, this cannon will be available on my skem shop on one shot MC. So I have to do is do skem shop view pint one, two, one, two. You'll be able to see all my skems. It'll be here once I get it on there. To so be able to download the cannon. Like I said, though, this is more of a concept cannon. I didn't build it specifically for the 360 as I probably will in the future. 
but any questions that you guys have, feel free to let me know because it's not necessarily a new concept in any way, shape, or form. I did not create this concept. No one really created it. It was just built off of previous concepts. But if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to let me know and I will do my best to help you. And definitely, I would expect probably at least like one more of these. Uh, I do plan on making one just dedicated to a 360. It'll be a shorter video, but it'll be more efficient and you'll be able to see different types of not necessarily barrels, but different types of exposures that you can do to have a better ratio to power and more efficient cannon. But that'll be for a different video. I just want to get this concept out there for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.